We come here to honor a man who shows it through hard work and vision and treating people right. Uh, many good things can happen. This visit is about what is fundamentally good and right. And it's about determination, it's about leadership, it's about decency. He wanted to reduce the cost of living for more people. That was the driving force. Sam. Good to see you, Nancy. If you were around Sam, the thing that most impressed you was this, this humility that caused him people to be drawn to him. If you walk around the visitor center, what you'll see so many times is he has his hand out. He reached out and he embraced people and he pulled people into his sphere of influence. And I think that's really what helped to create that, what we now call the spark. When he's asked about the secret of success, he credits his people. And he says the attitude of our employees, our associates, is that things are different in our company and they deserve the credit. He believed in you and you knew he believed in you and that's why you wanted to go out and just do your very best. And it's not hard to see why they believe in the company and it's just plain easy to see why they believe in its unpretentious leader. He loved making heroes out of people and, and giving credit for where anyone did anything, more so did it better than anyone that I know. There are also the quiet things about Sam Walton, the things beyond the bottom line, if you will. These are the things that enhance the spirit of community. And yes, of course, Mr. Sam's a great businessman, but along with making a good profit, he helps make good citizens of his people by encouraging them to help one another. Sure, that's all you gotta say. The story of Sam Walton is an illustration of the American dream. His success is our success, America's success. I salute you, sir, for your vision. And I am proud to give you your nation's highest civilian honor. I think it had to be one of his proudest moments because he loved the country as much as he did his business.